Creating a professional online store website using WooCommerce can be very, very challenging. Take a look at this page. So this is a base install of WooCommerce. So if I scroll down here, you can see that this is really, really basic. If I click on add to cart, notice what happens. It takes me to a page again, very bland. If I click on view cart, you can see here, everything is really plain, very, very bland. And this is WooCommerce out of the box. What if you can turn your WooCommerce website into this? Now look at our product page. This is definitely different. It looks way much better. We have a header. We also have our product here. We have colors going on. It tells us our stock. And when you scroll further down here, we have our descriptions. We also have our reviews. And we also have a testimonial here on the side. Now, notice what happens when I click on Add to Cart. We have this pop out on the side, which is really cool. We can uh, click here to the checkout. And let's take a look at our cart page. And again, this looks much, much better than what we had before. What if I tell you that you can have your website looking like this in three easy clicks using WooCrafter DV theme? Let me show you how you can install this. So for this to work, you need to have DV installed. So I'm going to come over here, go to my dashboard. Now I've already gone ahead and installed the DV theme builder. It is right here on the bottom. So to install the WooCrafter theme, all you have to do is to come over here to plugins and click on add new. Upload plugin, choose file, and here it is. I'm gonna double click, click on install, and then all we have to do is to activate the plugin. Now we need to install our theme. So you need to come all the way down here to the bottom and you can see here, it says WooCrafter. So if you click once on that, we have our step-by-step -step process to install our theme. So over here, this theme includes some pages. I would leave those pages there. And it also sets your home page. And then over here, we have some widgets. We have some menus. Now, all this is going to be set up for you. So you don't need to worry about going in and disabling all this. Further down here, we have our DV templates. We have our theme builder. We also have our DV settings. And then finally, we have WooCommerce. So you can see here, WooCommerce has already been ticked here because I had already gone in and installed it. But if you don't, you'll have an option here to install WooCommerce. All right, so finally, we have Divi installed. You can see it has a check mark. So if you don't have Divi installed, this will not work. All right, so now we are ready to install our theme. So I'm going to click here on, on Begin Site Import. All right, so our theme has been installed. The next step now is to delete the plugin because we don't need this anymore. So I'm going to come over here, Install Plugins. So first of all, you need to deactivate and then delete it. All right, so now that is deleted, the next step now is to see if our website has changed. So I'm going to come over here and click on visit site. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Whoa, look at that. So everything has been all set up. We have our large image here. We also have our latest products. And as I scroll down here, we also have our images. Everything is all intact. So you may be asking me now, okay, Mac, so how do I make this look like my own website? So this was well thought of. The WooCrafter theme can be used for any type of online store. Let me show you how you can customize this. But before I do that, let me just show you the extra pages. So here we have our header area, which is highly customized and looking really nice. If I scroll all the way down here to the bottom, we now have a footer, right? So everything now looks really cool and all this can be customized. Now, let me tell you about a feature which makes this theme really, really powerful. So if I come over here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder, we see now that all these templates here are designed for you. A lot of work has gone into designing all this. So if you have a blog and you want to add a blog on your website, everything is all designed and customized for you. So as you can see, there's so much. I mean, the shop page, the account page, the card page, the checkout page, everything is highly customized for you. Now let's explore all the features of this theme. So this is our home page. Now, if I come over here to the blog page, the layout has already been done for you. So if I scroll down here, you can see we have our dummy blog posts, which you can always go in and override and make this look like yours. So now what happens if I click on one specific blog post? So let's go to this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The layout looks really clean. And when I scroll down here, it's very easy to read. It also has related uh, posts here. And you also have an email opt-in if you want to um, grow your mailing list. 
and you also have your comments area. And as you can see, all this is highly customized. But the really cool thing about this theme is you can go in and change all these colors and match them with yours. Now let's go to the shop. So here we have this beautiful area here where you can have your main hero image. So when I scroll through this, we have our latest products. We also have uh, categories here on the left. And when I scroll down here, you also have all your best selling products. You also have a space here to add an image and also a call to action. And finally, here we have this call to action. So if, there's, if at any point you don't need any of this, you can always go in and disable it. And I'll show you in a moment how you can go in and disable it. All right, so let's say you're ready now to turn a Warcrafter into your online store. There are two main things that you need to do here, and that is to go in and change the images, the colors, and also the style guide. Let's, let me show you how. So as you can see, we have this large image here. So if you wanted to change this and start building your own store, you can just go in and start adding all your images. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to enable the visual builder here. So in my example here, I'm going to make this a website that sells honey. So I've gone over here to Unsplash to just look for images of honey. So I've downloaded my two images here on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to start here with the main image. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my settings. Next, I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom, click on background. And then I'm going to click on my third tab here to add my image. So all I have to do is to replace this image with my new image. So I'm going to click here, drag my image, and then I'm going to click upload an image. And now this has been updated. Now, just by doing a few clicks, you can see our website now has transformed into a totally a different type of website. So all you have to do now is to go back in and adjust the text and to customize the text. It is really, really simple. You can see here, this is where you would go in and customize the text. And over here on the button, you can just say more about the honey. So there we go. Very easy to update. And I can just go ahead and save. Now, let's say I need to add a product which we can sell on our website. Well, let me show you how to do that. So let's just exit the Visual Builder here. Save and exit. So to add my product, I have to come over here to Dashboard. Go to Products. Click on All Products. So what I'm going to do to save me time here, I'm just going to replace a product that's already there. So let's start with this Lorem Ipsum because you are going to have these default products. So I'm going to click here on edit, change this to raw honey. So I'm going to copy this, click here on edit, and I'm going to replace the text here and say, okay. And then all the way down here, I can add my product image. So I'm going to replace this one here by clicking on it. And then I'm going to upload my image, set product image, click on update. And now I can view my product and here is what it looks like. So when I scroll down here, you can see beautiful image. We have a testimonial, which you can also go in and customize. And we also have this uh, hint of our product here, right here in the hero area. So as you can see, just by going in and doing a few customizations, we're able to go in and update this theme. So there's also more things that we can do. We can go in and update our color palettes to match the branding of our website. We can also go in and update our style guide. Now, what I've done is I've created a mini course that shows you how to go in and customize this theme. All right. So at this point, you're probably asking, how do I get this theme? Well, there's a few ways to get it. So first of all, if you're a VIP or lifetime member on funnels to income.com, you get this absolutely free. Secondly, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, again, you get it absolutely for free. All you have to do is to send me your receipt number. And once I verify it, I will give you access to this theme. Finally, this theme is going to be on sale for $149, but I have a special 50% discount. All that information will be in the video description below. This theme also comes with a mini course, which goes into more detail, to show you how to customize it and get it ready to work for you. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.